is NJ, your host on this channel. Continuing our discussion on making Jupiter as the epicenter and understanding the role of all the planets around it. In this video, we will have our discussion on understanding the relative distance of the planet Mars from the planet Jupiter. So guys, the trend which we are following, the pattern which we are following in this playlist is very simple. If Jupiter is the epitome of blessings of the divinity, so first we had our discussion on understanding the distance of moon from the planet Jupiter which in itself makes sense because if Jupiter is the source of all the blessings so moon will just tell about that how far you are in order to absorb that divinity that righteousness or that blessings in your life in your awareness same way guys we also had our discussion on understanding the distance of Ketu from the planet Jupiter which in itself makes sense like we have uh, come across all those people who right from their birth they show some affinity towards one specific god towards one specific form of philosophy so ketu's distance and understanding the correlation between jupiter and ketu might give you that answer and guys in this video we will have our discussion on understanding the distance of the uh, planet mars from the planet jupiter so guys that in itself makes sense because uh, not only uh, when you will see the chart of all those people who have done something very big like all those enlightened saints first of all with their religious austerity and strong devotion they experienced that divinity within them and then they took up the responsibility of sharing their same wisdom with the whole world so definitely there has to be that uh, concentrated sense of power in order to do that religious job same is the way guys you keep on coming across all those people when you ask them the source of inspiration for all the big things which they have achieved and they will say that it's only the faith like guys i uh, still remember this indian prodigy uh, ramanujam the mathematician genius there has been a movie which has also been made uh, on his life where dev patel acted on it and uh, when it was asked to him that uh, like being not properly schooled and properly uh, like uh, formally educated how can you be such a great mathematical genius and solve all these uh, theorems and all and the only answer he gave in that movie which is a real fact that uh, it's the blessings of my kul devi kul devi who comes on my uh, like who just gives me all the answers i just close my eyes and i get the answer from my kul devi and he's a mathematical genius being acknowledged and recognized by the whole world so definitely guys there has to be some say so the point over here which i'm trying to say over here is that it's very simple when we talk about that if you are an advocate or you are like there has been so many fields even in india where you will find that just in order to embrace that form of teaching uh, school of uh, like uh, thought or school of religion or anything you need to abide by certain list of do's and don'ts and in certain religions the discipline which is required is very strong like uh, you have to be a, a celibate for the whole life you have to refrain these kind of words so definitely guys whether you have to do something in order to embrace divinity within your own life where you need that strong discipline or whether you have to become a advocate a spokesperson or kind of a promoter of that specific form of knowledge or wisdom or religion then definitely we have to study what kind of role mars is playing relative or compared to the planet jupiter which we will try to establish and understand in this video and guys uh, before we will get into that i want to make this thing very clear a lot many people are getting confused with this playlist with the uh, bhrigu nandi nadi jyotish uh, doctrines so guys uh, when we talk about the uh, nadi jyotish um, it is definitely very accurate but it has got more to do with the uh, understanding and solving the material life and our daily concerns like definitely in the Nadi Jyotish uh, Mars uh, represents the husband in a woman's chart and Venus represents wife in a man's chart so definitely how planets are placed uh, in comparison to each other you can definitely solve lot many of your daily life concerns and problems but my main concern behind this playlist is that only to get uh, and dig deeper into the spiritual side of the uh, astrology so okay guys let's uh, 
start our discussion and first uh, guys i wanted to show some reference chart like definitely because i mentioned this thing that there has been those enlightened beings who took such a heavy responsibility of sharing the divine knowledge and wisdom with the whole humankind so how mars was placed compared to the jupiter in the natal chart and guys over here um, in this playlist specifically do not get very obsessed with the exact uh, time of birth because no matter how the lagna will change or not we just are concerned about the distance between the planets so okay guys let's just start our discussion and first is the chart of the swami prabhupad who is responsible for uh, spreading the um, glory of the lord krishna krishna consciousness in the whole world so guys in his case as you can see just definitely because i had this um, like instinct even before opening up his chart that he must have something to do with the uh, moon being in the taurus or some sort of prominence of the rohini if you have to be such a devout follower and bhakt of lord krishna so definitely in his case his moon uh, turned out to be exalted in the fifth house conjunct with mars but now guys most important is that uh, how is uh, uh, mars placed compared to the planet jupiter so definitely guys uh, mars is placed 10th from the jupiter so that in itself tells about that he became responsible for establishing a whole body a institution in the name of god so that is how the prabhupada's chart proves the relative distance after that guys is the chart of my favorite osho rajneesh when it comes down to spirituality and understanding the true nectar of your spirit his doctrines his teachings his stories are the they are like path breaking so yes guys uh, in osho rajneesh case like uh, no matter how uh, deep and insightful his take has been his uh, preaching has been on the knowledge of spirit on uh, attainment of nirvana peace and all the buddhist teachings and kabir's teaching as well but he has always contradicted the prescribed ritual of all the religions and it has nothing to do with only with the hinduism but he has also contradicted all the religions this could be islam this could be christianity this could be jainism and as you can see that his mars is placed sixth from the planet jupiter and yes guys that is the only reason that uh, if i am not wrong um, uh, that was the only reason he had got issues with the indian government because of his stance on the uh, hinduism which did not get along well with many of the top religious institutions and even after that like he kept on getting into trouble with lot many religious bodies and institutions as well so after that guys um, if you will look at the chart of narendra modi as well now guys uh, in narendra modi's uh, case as well he is uh, india's current uh, prime minister now no matter how much good things i will talk about narendra modi it might be biased because me my whole family has been a, a strong follower and firm uh, like loyal advocate of the uh, bharatiya janata party uh, and a big fan of narendra modi as well but definitely guys he has done a lot in the name of a uh, religion as well apart from all the economical reforms and everything so definitely guys in his case as well if you will look at his chart his mars is also placed 10th from the planet jupiter and definitely guys the way he moves the way he walk and the way he like uh, fulfill his duty even as a minister you can definitely see that sort of uh, service to the god you can definitely see over here after that guys um, if you will even look at the chart of the uh, adityanath yogi as well so uh, again guys he is uh, one of the province uh, in india uh, uh, where he is the a uh, current sitting chief minister of that province and he is a very uh, strong uh, face of uh, hinduism but the good part over here is that guys even in his case you can see that is mars is placed 7th from the jupiter so it's like he is a bachelor he is a celibate but you can see that he married his duty towards the religion you can definitely see coming over here as well and after that guys um, even if you will look at the chart of i just randomly uh, pick other charts as well uh, other is the case of uh, lal krishna advani so a lot many youngsters i don't know whether if you are living in the west you might not be knowing about him but he actually did uh, play a very big role in uh, you know in the resurrection of one of the uh, temple of lord rama in india he played a very big role over there and definitely guys if you have to be uh, doing something which is very transformative 
then you actually in his case you can definitely see mars is place eighth from the planet jupiter it will give rise to it will stir up controversy but this is the kind of dharma which you have to fulfill follow and this is how mars is getting empowered in order to fulfill its instructions to receive its uh, duties from the planet jupiter it might have to do something which will offend a big sect of community as well and uh, after that guys the last is the swami vivekananda and guys in his case as you can see over here same is the case like uh, yogi adityanath who was celibate when he is another celibate one of the youth icon in india and you can see that mars is placed again seventh from the planet jupiter so it's like you are married to your religious duties and this is what empowers you so okay guys now we will have our quick discussion on that how you can see that if in your natal chart um, uh, the related distance and the correlation between the mars and the planet jupiter and guys the underlying objective is very simple that no matter in which capacity you are religious you are devoted to the gods to the higher powers like this could be for your own personal dharma or this could be your dharma is to be a promoter or become an advocate of spreading this you have undertaken this responsibility on your shoulders to spread this divinity and goodness with the whole world and trust me guys it is not very difficult to find i have not seen much of that uh, religious voluntary uh, volunteer kind of thing in west in living in canada and all but trust me living in uh, india like whenever there is a festival there is any ceremony or something you will definitely find sometimes it becomes even difficult to get uh, you know um, uh, get a job of a volunteer because if there are 100 people who are needed in india like you will see that thousand people will apply like people are so earnestly want to do something in order to uh, you know serve in the name of uh, devotion religion and god whenever any of the holy festivals are coming up so okay guys let's just start our discussion so uh, let's say for example if you will find that uh, the first case is that your jupiter and mars is conjunct so guys uh, this is very good in so many ways like definitely whatsoever religious teachings you will get whatsoever religion you are born in there is a lot of energy there is a lot of power which you will manifest so just because mars is placed along with jupiter and the correlation between two these two planet is also like that like if jupiter is like a like a teacher like a preceptor mars is like a uh, like a commander so here there is a very strong chance that uh, in this combination uh, both of these two planets uh, the martian energy will be well controlled well guided so too much of the energy going in uh, to the planet mars is not very harmonious for the uh, planet Jupiter and guys a lot many times it has been seen that uh, you know uh, native where he might be living in there might be some temple around the place or because uh, Mars which in itself represents the land so if you have Jupiter and Mars conjunct in your chart so it also tells about that you might be born in a place where there is a kind of you know some religious uh, temple which might be in the vicinity or your father your parents might be very actively involved in any of the church service in any of the temple service they might be very actively involved over there as well and definitely guys uh, making uh, um, continuous uh, donation in the name of any of those uh, uh, kind of uh, causes where you will get to know that any of the new temple is getting built any new church is getting built and they are asking for the donations so doing donations for this definitely will bring happiness and glory in your life and also guys um, in this kind of combination a lot many times it has been seen that even in the uh, within the relationship as well generally people who have this combination uh, both the uh, people in a relationship like if whether you are a guy whether you are a girl this is a kind of a combination which tells about a kind of synchronicity in the nature of both the people in a relationship like if you are hot-headed you might find a hot-headed partner if you are very religious you might find a very religious partner so this is how you can see this combination turning out to be now guys uh, let's say for example um, but the good part over here is that guys these people uh, undertake any of the responsibility duty assigned to them very seriously after that guys uh, let's say for example if you will find a uh, mars to be placed second from the planet jupiter now guys uh, this is a kind of a combination which uh, is considered as good in lot many cases where uh, any of the investments in the real estate tend to remain very fortune awakening for the native 
like because uh, jupiter is goodness it is finance mars has been placed second from it so uh, financial investments in land in property always benefits native second thing is that for the matrimonial harmony and for the yeah for the matrimonial harmony this is not a very good indication like specifically in the chart of a woman it might create disharmony or kind of delay or uh, anger issue or frustration within the marriage or to find a right partner and also guys a lot many times it has been also seen that this could also point in the direction of intercaste marriage and all but the good part over is that guys with this kind of combination like um, like the way i always say this thing that even the k and rao sir has uh, mentioned this thing that second house in itself is a prominence of someone who has got a very strong vision or like a person born with a mission so that also tells about that whatsoever duties you will undertake you will follow that very sincerely now guys if you will find uh, jupiter to be placed um, third like i'm sorry mars to be placed a uh, third from the planet jupiter so guys uh, this is a, a good indication where uh, definitely your relationship with your siblings tend to remain a uh, kind of very sensitive like it's a very extreme relation either you will find a brother or sibling who will be willing to die for you or in extreme cases who will be even willing to kill you so those sort of extreme relationship with your siblings but now guys from the point of view of the religion and your religious duties this is a typically empowered placement like a lot many times like whether you call it it is happening in real or whether you say that a placebo effect that if native has like kind of you know a lot many times what happen is that just because you are doing some religious austerity or you undertook some pilgrimage or something or you have this kind of thing in the back of your mind that if i have to go for any important meeting or something but before that i need to visit that temple i need to follow this uh, superstition which i have to follow before going for any important match or before going for any important screening but yes guys um, like when we talk about becoming a spokesperson becoming a promoter or a pracharak so called pracharak or promoter of any of the cause philosophy teaching this could be a very good combination for that now guys uh, if you will find that uh, mars is placed fourth from the planet jupiter so uh, definitely guys uh, this is a kind of a combination where we have generally seen that peace of mind like this can actually make native very a uh, devout religious person and specifically guys uh, over here because mars is a planet of energy and exertion of energy so like um, this native it becomes very important for him to physically exert himself in order to showcase his emotion and his feeling towards his uh, favorite gods now again guys these kind of devotion you might not see living in the western part but if you actually want to see that sort of adamant uh, desire to please your gods visit india you will see that like even uh, right now we are going through the holy shravan month and over here you will see lot many of the shiva devotees who um, travel on their foot for miles just to bring that holy water and offer it to uh, the shivlinga close to their place so that sort of physical exertion in order to showcase your uh, emotion and your devotion towards the god so that sort of potential is attached with this placement also guys uh, within the uh, domestic life and all uh, over there uh, again this is a kind of a placement where um, a lot many times it has been seen that uh, in those cases where uh, parents are very strict in order to impose their doctrines their philo philosophy or their teachings to their children and all so a lot of the strictness you will find within the home environment specifically in the name of religion or instilling those religious values within the family members uh, moving ahead guys now if you will find uh, mars to be placed a uh, fifth from the planet jupiter so again guys like the way lot many people say this thing that mars is a significator of surgery jupiter can also give you children so being fifth from the planet jupiter also tells about that uh, cesarean might uh, take place for the birth of a child but guys are uh, talking about the religion and spirituality and specifically uh, in the case of women as well this is a kind of a typical placement where 
a woman who has this placement like like because fifth ninth combination is generally considered as very good so that in itself tells about that a woman in whose chart you will find this combination she must be very fortunate very lucky till the time she will be in her home she will be very fortunate for her family for her parents and when she will be uh, wedded she will be wedded to uh, her uh, husband then uh, the good luck will go to her uh, in-laws and her husband's family and house as well and also guys uh, this is a very good combination where um, like i have seen in lot many cases uh, people who are very devoted to one god like here i'm not talking about that you are all scattered and you are uh, equally devoted to all the gods but in certain cases where you will see very unrelenting devotion and focus to one god like someone who is a very ardent devotee of shiva someone who is a ardent devotee of ganesha of like uh, hanuman ji then you will definitely see that these are among those people who will go to any extent in order to please their ish devta and that is the only reason they remain fortunate and lucky in getting those uh, mantra siddhiya and powers as well uh, because of the blessings of their ish devta now guys uh, let's say for example if you will find mars to be placed sixth from the planet jupiter so definitely guys uh, although um, this is a kind of a combination which i showed you as well like in the chart of osho as well which a lot many times your extreme ideologies might put you in trouble now again guys it all comes down to that in which capacity it is operating but in lot many cases when you will come across all those people who are in the debate room in any of the news channel like one person has been called as a spokesperson of one religion one person has been called as a spokesperson of another religion and they are fighting over to put uh, forth their point so again guys it has nothing to do with one person being wrong it's just like that they have to go through these kind of anguish these kind of debate and argument and fights in order to justify or um, kind of honor the sanctity of their religion and guys um, like specifically because we have to include other factors as well so uh, specifically uh, in the matters of finances in the matters of property as well marks which represents your sibling as well so you have to be very careful specifically if you are in a joint family where there are any of the ongoing dispute with your siblings and all so you have to be very careful with this placement and also guys like because we say this thing that mars is a planet which flourishes and thrives on the fights and arguments and all so this placement could be better for you if you're already working as a cop or you're working as a like a lawyer but in general cases within the family share and the property related concerns you have to be very careful now guys uh, if you will find um uh, uh, Mars to be placed seventh from the planet Jupiter. So, guys, uh, specifically in a woman's chart, I would still say that this could be a very good combination. Mars uh, has got a Hindi name of Mangal, which means auspicious task, auspicious work. And like the way I mentioned this thing, that it's like if in a woman's chart, Mars represents husband. So it's like Jupiter is placed right next to it, like right opposite to it, looking at it. Now guys, uh, like the way we saw the chart of the Yogi Adityanath and the Swami Vivekananda. So this placement does not mean that you will become a celibate. It's just like that your degree and sense of conviction, devotion, dedication towards the religion, towards the path which you will be shown by your family, by your guru, by your Ish Devda. Very strong degree and sense of commitment, conviction and attachment to it can be seen with this placement. Now guys, uh, let's say for example, if we will find uh, Mars to be placed uh, 8 from the planet Jupiter. So again guys, this is a kind of a typical placement where your degree and sense of devotion to the religion can actually transform your life. You only get the right set of power and peace only with your dedication and devotion to the service of the God. And definitely guys, this is a kind of a typical placement which can actually make you a very good healer as well. And guys here, I'm not talking about the um, like healer like becoming an astrologer and all here i'm specifically talking about the faith healer and also guys like all those people who become tantric and all so like there are certain problems which being an astrologer even i cannot fix there are certain problems which even a, a priest cannot 
uh, fix for you through those rituals so when there is some sort of spirit related concern or some third power entity related problem then that is the only option you are left with and there are certain people who are equipped in it they are very expert in it so this is that kind of placement so yes guys this is a kind of a placement where whatsoever like if you will uh, take the responsibility of becoming a crusader or becoming a spokesperson of any form of religion any form of philosophy theology you have to face a lot of criticism rejection and but the uh, blessings of jupiter you could call or the blessing of the planet mars and the relative distance you call it that it will keep on protecting you and guiding you and that is how only not only you will fulfill your dharma you will also transform your life now guys when we talk about so definitely guys this is a kind of a typical placement which is very conducive for the religious creature and guys it's just like that uh, somehow the true strength and power comes to you through the religious austerities like the way i always say this thing a lot many times what happen is that uh, just because you took a pledge or a vow that uh, if you will um, uh, pass in this exam if you will get this contract you will go on that specific pilgrimage and all so yes guys for um, like showcasing your devotion becoming a spokesperson of any school of thought you believe any religion you believe or any faith you follow or something so this could be a very good combination but guys a lot many times it has been seen that specifically when it comes down to the higher studies and all over there in a lot many people's chart uh, people who have got mars ninth from the planet jupiter a lot many times it can create issue it can uh, create problems over there but definitely guys from the point of view of the religion religious austerities and deriving the strength and power from your religious discipline religious austerities this could be a very good placement after that guys um, definitely if you will find uh, mars to be placed 10th from the planet jupiter so yes guys uh, this is a kind of a typical placement which has been seen in the charts of lot many people who um, you know see i do not know uh, how far um, like mars is placed from the jupiter in the chart of uh, mahesh yogi sir so like there have been lot many enlightened beings who uh, kind of who uh, you know built lot many temples lot many ashrams and spread that divinity and wisdom with the whole world but again guys there is a difference you might be a very good preacher uh, with uh, mars being ninth from the planet jupiter but all those people who have built institutions who have built ashram who have built schools in the name of god in the name of religion and all definitely this is that typical placement and this is the relative distance which generally helps people and also guys uh, this is a kind of a typical placement where uh, like um, if uh, you have to see even from the matrimonial harmony point of view as well so being a woman if you have this placement or this distance in your natal chart definitely you will have a very good matrimonial life as well you will get a very good provider husband as well so uh, and yes you will be very disciplined in order to fulfill all of your duties and responsibilities as well after that guys uh, if you will find uh, mars to be 11th from the planet uh, jupiter so guys uh, specifically when we talk about the kind of uh, friends you will make and guys also a lot many times this is a kind of a typical placement which makes native a lone wolf like generally uh, we say this thing that um, uh, 11th placement somehow involves saturn over there as well and mars do not get along very well with it so it just like that native could be a part of big institutions and organizations but if native has got a fate or destiny to do something big there will be a time when he will part his ways and he will establish something on his own and also guys uh, your ideology your philosophy uh, might not get along very well with your friends and a lot many times native generally do not um, share the similar uh, kind of philosophy and ideology with his uh, siblings with his friends so over there there might be a contradiction but again guys in order to grow rise being recognized um, in whichever form you are following your dharma this could be a good placement for that and lastly guys uh, if you will find uh, mars to be placed 12th from the planet jupiter so guys uh, this is not a very conducive placement for um, being in the world 
fulfilling your duties, religious duties and responsibilities and getting rewarded from the universe. This is a kind of a typical placement which generally uh, blesses and rewards people more who have got very uh, kind of aloof an ascetic kind of mindset like all these sadhus, yogis, aghori and hut yogi who have taken those very severe uh, spiritual vows and guys in lot many cases like here we are talking about dharma as well right so it's not like that only in the name of god like a lot many times when we come across that in any of the war zone like uh, all those people who are voluntary offering their services in those difficult terrains like being a doctor, being a lawyer, you're going to the third world countries and serving uh, your expertise in order to help and heal the wounded and people who are afflicted. So this is that kind of typical placement. And also guys, uh, even within the matrimonial ties as well, this is a kind of a placement where there could be some sexual incompatibility as well and uh, some sort of differences as well that your husband or partner is not giving you proper time, is always away. So that is how this placement can work out. So yes, guys, this is something which I wanted to say as a part of my inputs. For further more updates and notifications on the divine signs of Vedic astrology, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. Then you are.